Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Crusader Kings 3. If you haven't seen the series up to this point, there is a link in the description that will take you all the way back to episode 1. Uh, we are Duke Wolfmeyer Edwardson of Mercia, age 36. It is December of 1188, so we are 122 years into our playthrough. We have changed our focus uh, from focusing on becoming King of England uh, for the time being because the King of England is not only my brother-in-law, but he's a good friend and he's an ally. We're focusing on picking off one by one the counties of Wales, and we're going to see if we can't usurp the title of King of Wales instead. So we'll see what happens. Looking over my knights, I can have up to 13 knights. Uh, and I've got a few folks that aren't real good at being knights, but I'm going to allow them anyway just because I could use some more. Uh, eventually what I'd like to do is I would like to recruit a few people that would be better than the ones that I've got. Um, right now, though, we're just focused on doing the best we can with what we have. Uh, I've got a bunch of things that just happened here. Oh yeah, our mercenary contracts are expiring. That's fine. Not a big deal. Don't really need them at the moment. We've got a nice amount of income coming in right now. We have three available wars that we could declare, uh, including this one here. They would gain us Suffolk. Uh, and they've really got just n nothing right now. But I can't declare it because I would have to... Yeah, that's the same problem we had last episode. That's why we're not focused on growing anymore in England, because we would have to fight against our own liege to do that. I took Elizabeth out playing with a bow, and to my surprise, she ran into a wounded doe. Um, we don't want her to be paranoid. I will take the... Uh, oh, boy, she'd be sadistic. Yeah, we'll let her keep the... I'd rather she was paranoid than sadistic, honestly. Well, we've got another daughter that has arrived. Um, how about a good ancestor name okay our ancestor names suck a good catholic name uh cecilia judith clementia um anna there we go anna works so i have what do we got here we've got elizabeth constance and anna and just one son so honestly that's kind of the best of both worlds. We could ask her to become a nun. I don't think that's necessary. I would like to start looking for a spouse for her, though. Uh, and somebody that maybe would be matrilineal. Maybe they could bring me some much-needed skills. What do I need on my council more than anything? I could use a better marshal for sure. Oh, look at this. Uh, oh, my. That's a peasant revolt. That ain't going to work. Uh, 64. No, thank you. Serene Doge of Pisa. That might work. I don't know that we'd get him to do a matrilineal marriage, though. Oh, we would. Okay. Interesting. Let's do it. Sweet. So when the time comes, we'll get him to join our council. All right, we've got an unpressed claim on the Lordship of Gwent. And what is this here? Blunder results in claim. We also got one on Suffolk. We already had one on Suffolk, I think. Uh, and that's honestly just not ideal, just because of the previous mentioned situation. Uh, the Queen of Wales. Their military strength is inferior to ours. And they're actually in the middle of a war, even though they're allied with the uh, Prince of Sweden and the King of Scotland. We've dealt with all of that before. I'm not too worried about that. Oh, uh, we have a truce still. Uh, how long do we have the truce still? Let's take a look at, and see how long our truce goes still. Four years. Oh, I don't know if I can wait that long. In the meantime, we're going to send the Herald to see if we can't rec recruit some better knights. We've got a decent amount of gold right now. We've com completed our task of increasing control. We've got one more area where we've got to worry about that right now. So uh, let's go back to our council. Go to our marshal. 
I'll work on increasing control there. All right, so we do have a couple of new knights. Andrej, uh, he's got a, a 16 a prowess skill, and then uh, Gwenwin is a 15, so that's definitely an upgrade over what we've had. Uh, we could certainly still allow these two, and that would give us 12 total, but I think we're pretty good for now. New culture. Your culture is now fascinated by the scootage intervention. Uh, uh, so let's take a look at our culture real quick. Anglo-Saxon. We've got heraldry, which allows us to change, I think, our law concerning that. Let me take a look at that for a second. I want to look at decisions. Nothing particular there that I want to deal with. How about the realm? Succession laws. I don't think we can change this. We can change to high partition. The lion's share of titles will go to your player heir. Um, that would be better than what I currently have. It'll cost us 500 in prestige. Let's do it. All right, we're going to invest. We're going to build some new barracks in Warwickshire. An inappropriate exchange. Um, lustful. No, uh, no, that is not okay. Gregarious. Yeah, I'd rather she had that. All right, so let's do that. What about our duchy buildings? Oh, we can look over here, too. Uh, there's nothing I want to deal with. We do have a duchy building somewhere. I'm not going to deal with that right now, though. What about in Shropshire? Let's upgrade the uh, Bastion walls. Yep, let's do that. And we've got ourselves another really good knight, and that is uh, Ethelwald, who's a 19 in prowess skill. So this allows us to keep kind of bumping down the the, the floor of our prowess among knights. Uh, so uh, much, much more effectiveness in the field when it comes time to it uh, to get there. I'm just hoping I can still have this claim on the title when it comes time to declare once this truce is over. Let me look and see when that truce ends again. I think it was 93. Comfort of a friend. There are a few things I enjoy more than King Richard's company. After the short break, I feel more at ease than I had in a long time. I'm lucky to have a friend like King Richard. So, thank you, brother-in-law, liege, and friend King Richard II for reducing my stress. We've got four different wars we could declare. But again, none of them help me because they're all against other realms in England. All right, we're going to get a decent court physician, 125 gold to hire him. I also want to increase the size of my levies. We're going to raise the house carls by quite a bit. Also the bowmen. So we're going to add 400 to our regular military. It's going to take some time to build that up, and it's going to cost to do that. But it's worth it, and for the size of the realm that I have, I probably need to be increasing the size of my military to match. Okay, the uh, the problem of the truce is done with now. Um, yeah, let's do it. So I don't think... Oh, we can call on our ally, Serene Doge Annabelle. I don't think I want to do that right now, though. I think I've got this by myself. Raise the army. Let's take a look. Yeah, 4,800 is all they can defend with at the moment. Of course, if they call the King of Scotland, which is quite possible, then we could be dealing with a different situation, but I'll take my chances. Ah. What are we dealing with here? Ah, pretty even numbers now. Wait, there's a king in Wales now? Oh, she got married. She, Her husband was dead before, and they're saying that he's the new king of Wales because she married him. 
Interesting. And he brings with him some additional troops. So maybe we do, in fact, I'm worried about this financial situation here. Uh, maybe we do, in fact, need to call some additional troops. Because this is going to get pretty bloody. How much can they bring into this? I guess we'll find out. Thank you. Well, he brings about 1,400. We'll take it. In the meantime, I should be able to handle this army on my own. Camp dispute. Give a speech about unity to the crowd. Let's do it. I get up and deliver a speech about how we are all fighting for the Duchy of Mercia and how we must stand united against our foes. For if we don't, there are many outsiders who would take advantage of our internal squabbles to seize our lands and impose their rule on us. Looking abashed, Seibert and Earl Burghard apologize and get ready to settle in for the night. We are stronger when we stand together. That's right. We are a band of brothers. For he who today sheds his blood with me shall be my brother. And we're about to get into it. Major battle. Hope for some good rolls here. The Knight Hospitalier has been established in Limburg by Kaiser Karlmann. I think we got this. We've got some solid knights in the field. Mayor William has passed away. You can no longer sway him. He was killed. Oh. So one of our knights was killed. It's all right. It's a major victory. What a battle. Dang. The Battle of Harlech. All right. Let's look at the numbers here. So we lost 806 killed. We killed 2,000. The levies were pretty even, even though um, I feel like we should have done a little better there. Our knights killed 543, but we lost one. Huskarls did really, really well. Bowman did well. Pretty much everybody did well. Who do we capture? The Earl of Ulster. Interesting. I'm going to pursue this army. Because I don't want to give him a chance to start building it back up. Since he's in home territory, he's going to do that. So I'm going to pursue him. Hit him a few more times until he really can't put up much of a fight. Greetings, my benign liege. I've been hosting your chancellor. Uh, thank you. Awesome. And then we'll have to go over and take on the other army. Another lovely victory. Who did we capture this time? Ah, we captured one of his knights. Let's take a look. 263 killed to his 1,663. Excellent. We just got to keep up the pressure on those guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, his army's already retreating, so... Maybe we'll go ahead and stay here and lay siege. Who's this? All oh, the uh, army of Pisa has arrived. Excellent. Okay, we've won that siege. Our uh, our liege, in the meantime, is now under attack. Who's he fighting? He's fighting against the Duchy of York and the Kingdom of Scotland. But it seems like he's got enough to be able to handle them. We're going to go after this army as he runs. I've got a fast army, so I have a, usually a pretty easy time catching up to him. Got to watch our financial situation. Oh, one of our counselors was slain in battle. But another great victory. However, that only gets us up to 51%. Who did we capture this time? Ah, the Duke of Powys and the Earl of Ormond. Excellent. Let's take a look at our council. We did lose our marshal. Which we're working on bringing in another one anyway. In the meantime, we can put Reeve Orgdar in there. Alright, martial lifestyle. Promising prospects. Uh, let's do that. 
Look at the numbers again. I love looking at these figures. I don't know. I'm a stat guy. I like this kind of stuff. Um, again, we lost another knight. And we're going to lay siege here in Gwent while his armies run. All right. In the meantime, my daughter has come of age. They grow up so fast. Let's take a look. Do we have her betrothed? We do, to the Doge of Pisa, which uh, that should now mean that he will get married and he'll join us. Uh, so let's go ahead and propose that. In the meantime, familial reputation. All right, that's good. We lost the Siege of Shrewsbury. I didn't realize he was laying siege up there. All right, let's go deal with that. Our liege won his war. That didn't take long. Dang, they got Stafford too. We're just cleaning up the messes from other things. Once we do that, the young mediator. All right, good Constance, good job. All right, we're at 89%. All we need to do now is, I think, win one more battle. And this should be over. Which is good, because we're just about out of money. There it is. Oh, 91%, that's all we got. Okay. All right, we can ask the Pope for some gold. He'll lose opinion of me. I don't care. Uh, we've got low control in the counties that were taken over, so we've got to deal with that. While we deal with finishing off this war. Thank you. There it is. We got it. More Welsh territory about to fall under my banner. We gain the Lordship of Gwent. So you can see here now, we're just increasingly taking territory from Wales. At some point, we'll be able to usurp uh, another duchy. But I don't think we're quite there yet. I am above my domain limit, so I'm going to have to pass something on to someone else. Um... The question is what? Earldom of Lindsay, perhaps. Let's go to my heir, Edward. Now, before we do too much, we do need to arrange his marriage because once I give him a title, I, I think I lose control over being able to do that. So we've got this girl here. I want to go by pres prestige game. We've got a princess in Scotland. I'd love to be able to marry into somewhere that could give me the, the possibility of claiming something else. Maybe Welsh, for example. I might look around at the Welsh people that are available to marry into. You know, like the 12-year-old daughter of the Queen of Wales, who is the heir to Wales. That would be absolutely perfect if we could pull it off. Where's my son? Here he is. Holy cow. Their children would not only inherit the uh, Duchy of Mercia, but they would also inherit the throne of Wales. That would be ideal. Yes, please. Look at that. So there it is. That is the best marriage we've made so far. So I'm actually going to go ahead, I think, and grant one of these to someone else besides my family member. Uh, Staffordshire doesn't bring in that much in the way of gold. So I think maybe that's where we'll go with this. Give it to my cousin. Okay, let's do it. All right, feeling pretty good now. Of course, a lot can still go wrong. But I like it. Well, I thought that marrying my Elizabeth 
to the Doge of Pisa in a matrilineal marriage would bring him here, but I, I suppose that's not necessarily how it works when you're dealing with someone who's actually the ruler of a realm, as opposed to just being a, a courtier in a realm. So that makes sense. Uh, but it is a matrilineal marriage, so the children will still be uh, part of our house. So that's cool. All right, I call on you to join, uh, honor our alliance and join me in the Canucks claim on Earldom of Athlone. So we would be fighting on the side of the Queen of Wales, which is rather interesting uh, after having just fought against her. But of course, now she's our ally. So um, we're not going to raise the army, but we'll join the war nonetheless, because it looks like it's going very poorly at the moment. And I don't want to spend all my money when I'm just starting to build it back up. You know, as I think about this a little more, if eventually my descendants are going to be ruling in Wales, uh, I suppose it makes sense that I actually help defend that territory so that they don't lose any. So we're going to head over. All right, so we're laying siege to Loch Garman in an attempt to uh, relieve what's happening there. There is, however, a fairly large army headed this way. Never back down from a challenge, Constance. Looks like we've got some help on the way. Three? Is it just three knights? Is that really all there is in this army? Probably don't want to take on this whole force all at once. All right, here's where it gets dangerous. We ransomed a couple prisoners we still had from the last war. That'll make up some of the shortfall we had in finances. Now, we seem likely to win this battle, but of course he could reinforce from over here. Is that the king of Poland? Here he comes. By the time it gets here, it'll be too late, I think. Oh, but it makes it rather interesting. Fighting a war against... Uh, fighting in a war against the king of Poland. Don't like that. I like Poland. I don't want to fight them. Certainly helps the war situation, though. We killed one of the noblemen. Who did we capture? Uh, Count Jaroslaw of Berlin. Interesting. We got a bunch of people we can ransom here. Some worth more than others. But it makes us money, so that's all that matters. I don't want to declare war on the Kaiser of uh, the Holy Roman Empire. There's a lot of people I could declare against, though. All right, with another victory over Poland, and uh, this time we capture the Duke of Upper Silesia, uh, we've gained a level of fame. We are now exalted among men, which I believe unlocks some new abilities that we didn't have before. Uh, we're going to go ahead and ransom the Duke of Upper Silesia. And then we're going to go break the enemy hold here. And hook up with his allied army. Well, for the first time, we have a cadet branch of our house. And that's my cousin created the uh, cadet branch of Greenhill Evesham. Uh, so that's an interesting development with its own... We've got two houses you can see here now. The military strength, the number of members, when it was founded... Let's open our dynasty tree for a second and see. So there's our cadet branch. He's actually my first cousin. That's really not all that far off. He's the Earl of Worcestershire. Well, now we've captured, captured Duke Conrad of Prussia. Very cool. I think I've done just about all I need to do in this war, honestly. Um, I think they can probably handle it on their own from here. Yeah, there's only 2,600 men left on the other side, but maybe we should just help finish this off. We won two more battles. What's going on here? Is there any... Uh, we can ransom the Duke. 
and get 100 gold there. Uh, we can designate a guardian for Anna. And I'm going to go with myself because I have really good learning. And I like educating my own children. New Marshall perk available. Enduring hardships. Let's do that. All right, looks like the war is over. So I think we're going to be able to put down our army now. Let's go ahead and send them back. It's 100%. Why are we not finishing it? My son Edward has come of age. He's a skilled tactician and a holy warrior. This is going to be an exciting time because he's got some good skills. He's going to marry the future Queen of Wales, and their children will inherit both titles and will basically have this whole big swath of territory under one banner, which will be fantastic. Um, let's take a look. His numbers aren't bad, but he's only 16, so he's got plenty of time uh, to get those up. And uh, his future wife is 14 right now. I think I'm going to go ahead and go on a pilgrimage. I've got really good prestige, but what I don't have is a lot of piety. Uh, and I've got a decent amount of money, so let's go ahead and do that. Prepare for the journey. Uh, we can go to Cologne, the Vatican, Jerusalem. Yeah, we're going to Jerusalem. Speaking of Jerusalem, man. All right, here's the uh, current situation. You can see France, Aquitaine. Portugal's gained some territory since last we looked. England's got some decent territory on the continent now. Scotland's even got a little bit. Look at Wales. Uh, Byzantine Empire. All right, here's the Kingdom of Jerusalem. They still have quite a bit of territory here. Byzantines have a little bit there. Uh, Jerusalem's got some down here as well. Man, it's ever-changing. Okay, we could gain piety for uh, saying this man is not a priest. We can ask our head of faith for gold. Yes, please. 383 gold this time? Oh, that spent most of the piety I had left, though. But we're going to gain some piety from this pilgrimage, so it's worth it. Queen of Wales is 44. I'm just kind of keeping an eye on that. I'm also keeping an eye on when her daughter can marry. God would uh, wish me to, of course. Man, we're gaining 15 gold every month. I love it. It's a nice amount. The more territory, the more we invest, the uh, more money we seem to make. Got a decent sized army, too. The arrival. I've walked the holy path. 875 is what we gain in piety. I gain the trait Pilgrim. Awesome. That's very helpful. I am known for my dedication to my faith. I am now a devoted servant. All right, here we go. Betrothed can marry. The Swedish future Queen of Wales is now 16. Big, big, big news. That's fantastic. Now they need to have a, a son that can inherit both of these titles. I think I'm going to wrap it up right there. That was a very eventful episode. Major implications for the future, but a lot that could still go wrong with that. So we're just going to hope it continues to go the way that we hope it will. So let me know your thoughts about all of that. Use the comment section below. Please hit like. We will see you again tomorrow with another episode. Thanks for watching.